For Memorial Day, Sarah and I went to the Virginia History Museum to see the movie Bedford, The Town They Left Behind. Bedford is a town of 3,000 out near Roanoke. They had the highest per capita loss of any town in America on D-Day. Of the 35 men from Bedford who stormed the beach in Normandy, 19 were killed that day and four more died during the next few days. The movie featured how life in Bedford was impacted by their deaths. It was a heartbreaking story. One shot in particular caught my attention. It showed the portraits of four soldiers which hung on the wall in a little Methodist church in Bedford. All four were lost on that day. It reminded me of the plaque that hangs in the entryway of our church, rejoicing that all 110 who went to war from St. Giles came home safely. 110. Do you suppose that the people of St. Giles prayed more fervently than the people of Bedford? I doubt it. Why then the high casualties in Bedford and not for us? God's blessings usually come without any explanation about their portion or placement. Questions about that, why blessing for one and not another, go all the way back to Genesis 4 with brothers Cain and Abel. That's the first of many stories in Scripture that warn about comparing notes regarding God's blessings. So Bedford can look to God, who is always good, and often in ways that are beyond our viewing, and live in his peace. And St. Giles can look to God, who is always good, and rejoice in the gifts he has given, far beyond what we deserve. Both can look to God and his goodness. The struggle comes when we follow the course of Cain and start comparing notes with others. Wise is the one who recognizes God's blessing both in the valley and on the mountaintop.